Monster Palooza with Jimmy from Deadlight Customs. Jimmy, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? We're doing good. Uh, we want to know what has inspired you to start creating these horror themed dioramas and your incredible lamps that are not just horror themed, they are sci fi as well. Yeah, yeah. So I started off doing just like regular bigger lamps with the dioramas, but it was harder to do what I really wanted to do on it, like the scene. So I try to keep true to the movie and the scene from a movie. So I decided to do just the dioramas. So I've been doing it for about three years now. And you know, they're going great. I love them. They're, they're cool to work with. The lamps, same thing. I mean, I was doing bigger lamps, but people didn't have the room for them. So I found these little lamps. So I started doing the Funkos with them and that's how that came about. Do you have a favorite piece that you've created? Uh, in just period? All together. All What's together? a favorite thing that you've put together? So. The most sentimental one was my first one. I did a Nosferatu. That was the very first one I did. That was the first one I sold. But probably my favorite to date is the uh, the uh, Escape from New York. And I what like makes it. that special? It's just elaborate. I was able to do a lot with it and build build upon. I usually I try to keep it smaller, but that one because of the the head, the Central Liberty head, I was able to really do a, a big one. So that one that was my favorite one. Are you going to have a hard time selling that and letting go of it? I'm selling it. Everyone have a hard time selling. Gotcha. So it's easy to find you at these conventions. Yes. How do you handle custom orders or any special requests from customers any other time? Usually just they hit me up on Instagram. If you just message me on Instagram or even text message me, um, I could do the custom order. I can either have it ready for the next show or we ship too. So um, the dioramas I try not to ship because they're... I'm worried about damage and stuff like that, but the lamps we ship, so. And then what is your Instagram handle? So everyone has that. It is Deadlight Customs. And what is the next convention that we're going to be fighting you at? I will be at Miss Summer Scream. It's my first one. That's okay, exciting. Yeah, and then I'll be at Creep, Creep by Econ in September and then back to Son of Monster Palooza at Burbank in October. We're excited to see you again. I'm excited to see you guys too. So thank you so much for joining us with Jimmy thank at you. Deadlight Customs. And we will see you at... Midsummer Scream 2024. Awesome. See you there. We're here with Spooky Professor today. How are you? I'm good. What are you doing at this booth here today? I am supporting my very good friend, Gabby, who is a makeup artist products here at this table. She was actually my special effects artist at Creep by Econ for Samara, so I'm here to support her today. Amazing, such a good friend. So Spooky Professor, what has inspired you to start cosplaying, especially in the horror genre? Yeah, I just always loved Halloween and horror since I was young, and I moved out to California in 2020 and found the community, and I thought, oh, I can do this all year, and so then I just started cosplaying, so I just found a good community, and I loved having this outlet, so for me, it's just being creative. And Spooky Professor, how do you choose what cosplays you're going to do for characters? Um, for me, it is a process, so I like old school strong female characters, and for me, it's also trying to get it as accurate as possible. I don't put a whole lot of my special spins on it. I like to try to get the accuracy down, so I have to commit to it, so I watch the movies, I get a sense of like their mannerisms, so for me, it's like a big commitment, but it's always about strong female characters for me. Well, you kill it.